Welcome viewers, Zach here and welcome back to another video. Today we are back on Formula Classic because they have released an insane update, a track you probably have never seen on Roblox. If we click drive, you can see it's there, the Nürburgring Nordschleife. We're going to take a look at the new track and see if it's even possible to set a lap. Let's go. Here we are at the Nürburgring Nordschleife in 1967. And what better way to race around a 1967 track by using the 1967 car. So as you can see here, this is the car selection. I'm going to pick one of these uh, 67 cars. You got these two options there. So let's go with the V12. We need more power, obviously. I think uh, from 20 is not uh, from 20 is nice. As you can see, it's got no air, no front wing or anything like that. It's a nice little looking car. We're going to go inside today. As you can see already, we have uh, this new uh, little uh, speedometer over here. I've never seen it. All right. So if I press that, that should be the engine. Okay. So that turns on the engine. I know you can't hear the car very well because of this very loud crowd. And then uh, as, you, as I believe here, that's the parking brake. So you could take that off with P and uh, I'm going to leave it on automatic transmission over here. But I think you can change it by pressing M on your keyboard. And we're going to use mouse controls. I don't really use mouse controls that much, but uh, my controller is kind of broken. We do not care. All right. So here we are in our little automobile. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at the track. The thing is with this track, it's, it's very deadly. And i got to remind you guys, there are crash physics in this game in where uh, you crash uh, very, very easily. But like I have to say, that new speedometer looks very, very nice. Very uh, well made over here. Uh, I'm not very good at mouse control, so we might you might witness some skill issues from me. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And then uh, you go up the hill right over here. The thing is, this is a long, long track. Like, I mean long, like 20 kilometers, approximately 20 kilometers, probably over 100 corners. Who even knows at this point? But this is like the 97, uh, 1967 part. Or you can see, get a bit of understeer there, touching a bit of grass. Honestly, the detailing of this track isn't too bad at all. I mean, the, the trees look funny, but it's really like surprising how they managed to fit such a long track. And because I'm not having any lag issues or anything, it's pretty impressive. As you can see, you've got some of the beginning straights that goes uphill and then downhill. It's pretty nice. Oh, again, yeah, they got the jump. Wow. As you can see here on the long straight, it's difficult to tell when you got to break, but when you got to break, you got to break. Bruh. Oh, I got a track warning, the track extension there. Apparently, I extended the track. Just imagine this, okay? This track is, is this long. You're really cooking. You're setting the best lap, fastest sectors ever. And then on one of the final corners, you get a track extension and your lap doesn't count. You got to be careful. The ha oh, oh, blimey. I just, I'm really not used to these controls. And you got to be careful when you spin out because... Uh, if you try and go full throttle straight away, you're going to lose control of the tires. But honestly, it's really a nice track to um, to drive on. It's pretty, well, I want to say it's smooth, but the suspension is making this like, this is like not a driving rally, but like it's keeping you on edge. Like you don't know where, uh, I mean, unless you've memorized this track, which probably most of you haven't, you got to make sure every corner, not like that. Okay, apparently that was not a track extension. Apparently, according to a game, but a little oh, yeah. oh dear me. Okay, we've lost the hood. Uh, I think the car's still running though. I don't know what's going on here, but you can see sometimes the car kind of gets stuck between gears, like it doesn't want to gear up, maybe because it's an uphill or downhill. Yeah. Oh, this guy, that guy's going the wrong way. Wait till he finds out. Formula Classic have done amazing. Oh, wait, that's the first uh, guy. Oh, wait, this is the first. What's it called? What's it called? Oh, I've, uh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Because of that little crash, we've got a bit of damage. We've got a bit of engine damage. But I think we could make it to the end. We just don't have to. Just make sure we don't crash again. But honestly, the scenery looks really nice. It really has that 1967 vibe. I mean, I wasn't alive in 1967. But you get the point. It looks very nice. It really looks like there's no tire, uh, tire barriers anywhere. It's like you're driving around some kind of like trail or something. And not a racetrack. Which is what I like about it. Oh! don't want to lose it don't want to lose it that was way too close there we got to make it at least once round the circle oh oh that that was the damage there 
Surprisingly, the car is still going. Engine damage, like the engine can go into uh, into smoke or even into flames. I think sometimes it's right. Oh, what? Huh? My, my my tires gone off. Yeah, the you can see the tires are off, and not just the tires. Some parts have fallen off the car. You got a spring. You got a thing here and there. All right, so uh, the engineers have repaired and restored my car. And honestly, I'm not going to go through the trouble of trying to complete one lap around the Nordschleife with damage on. You can't even uh, in, in, you can't even disable damage. You just have to try hard and try and get a lap out of it. So if you guys are willing to do a whole lap around this track, uh, feel free to do so. The link to this game will be in the description down below. And if you get a really nice lap or a decent lap and you want to uh, and you want to share it with others, feel free to join our uh, community Discord server that will also be linked in the description below. You can show us uh, your laps and see what you can do. And honestly, I would say this is a really cool update and it's really fun and you guys should try it too. So apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, consider sending a super thanks or becoming a YouTube member to support my work and this channel. And thank you to uh, Mushy and Rootsal for being ultimate members. Goodbye.